Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today I did a recent video about Publisher Hall. And I went over all the books that I had received at that point. Um, but some more have come in and I kind of want to keep you and the publishers up to date. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to not only show you all the new books that I have from publishers, I'm going to update you on where I am with the other books that I have received from publishers and how that's kind of going. So let's just jump right in. So first of all, I did receive four books from Europa. Now I have finished three out of the four. I have finished... Thoughts and Happenings of Wilfred Pierce, the Purveyor of Superior Fear Funerals. I have finished Deep in the Brain, and I have finished The Elegance of Hedgehogs. Now I am in the midst of the Days of Abandonment, so this one I am reading at this moment. Next, I have Before There Was Elvis, There Was Nothing. I have done a full review of this, and I received it from Coffee House Press. I will link it below. Freight Publishing has sent me two books for review. Both of them were by Catherine Exborn. They were her YA and her originals. Cold City and The Few. I have read both and done full reviews. I will link them down below. Next we have this one. This is from $2 Radio. This is the people who watched her pass by. This is Scott Brandefield. I have read, finished, and will be reviewing this shortly. Next we have Hewan he he Sokyan. This is Princess Byer. Bari, this is Princess Bari. I have read this. I will be reviewing this shortly. That one I have done as well. And that one was sent to me by... This one was sent to me by Periscope Books. Aikens Press sent me The Boy Detective by Joe Mino. I now love Joe Mino. I will be doing a full review on this book as well soon. But it is finished. And then this one was sent to me by Femite Press. And this is Feminist on Fire by Colleen Kiran. This one I will be doing a full review of. I'm a little nervous on it, but I'm trying to research some more history on it and kind of find out a little more information. It's by Colleen, Colleen Kieron, which it's about Pam Kieron's. Next, I was sent two books by Kierkegaard Publishing. I was sent Alice and the Fly and The Chimes. I have read The Chimes already, and if you would like to see a full review on this, I'm more than happy to do it, but it's been talked to death, and I do plan to kind of bring it up a few times, but... I think I want to bring it up in a more generalized feeling of dystopian worlds and books. It hasn't, it's inspired me to do a full review, but I've seen so many of them. Please let me know if you want to hear my input on this. Um, I like it. I liked it a lot. And then the other one is Alice and the Fly, and this is by James Rice. This, this is by James Rice. This is a... This is another book about mental illness, and I received this for review, and I'm in the midst of it now. And today I received this in the mail. This is from futurefire.net publishing. This is Accessing the Future, and it is a collection of short stories from sci-fi perspectives discussing disability and mental illness. These stories are just kind of mixing and I believe these all these stories are about people with disabilities and their complexity and diversity that scream with passion and intensity these stories that refuse to go gently um yeah so I'm I'm very excited to see how this works out next I have the book of names this is stories by Royce Level Lyle Lavile and this is from Ripple Books. I received this one and this one and The Label Maker by Mackenzie Stilton from Ripple Books. So these two I will be getting to shortly. Next, I have an advanced reader's copy of A Small Madness by Diane Tuchel. This is another book discussing mental illness, I believe. Um, no, I'm very excited. So this one is talking about a young girl who gets pregnant out of wedlock and begins to descend into madness when she realizes she has to decide whether or not to keep the baby and the pregnancy is just getting worse and people are getting more and more confused and depressed and sad and it's just a very important book talking about pregnancy and what happens when it's miscalculated. I have this, this is Baboon, this is by Najim Marie Abdit. And it's translated by Denise Newman. This is a very strange 
collection of stories. These, this one was blurbed by Sarah Gerard, who was the author of Binary Star, which is a $2 radio publishing, $2 radio book that I really loved. And this looked phenomenal. Iowa Press, who sent me When Mystical Creatures Attack, uh, Lungs Full of Noise, and a memoir of the mythical bill a neurological a neurological memoir this is a short story collection they sent me when mythical creatures attack because they thought this would be you know nice but it wasn't exactly what i was looking for and then they added this one because they thought it would be right up my alley so i am super stoked about all of those i will be doing a triple review on all three of them when i finish all of them every other book prior to this i will be doing a single review unless otherwise specified this is Good Trouble Building a Successful Life and Business with Asperger's. This one I picked up. Now, I will admit I have a family member with Asperger's syndrome, and so I was slightly curious, as well as I don't think it's completely off the realm of just being good life goals and good life information for people who may have a little bit more of quirks or also people who are just a little more quiet and need a little bit of help verbalizing what they need. I think that will actually be in there as well. So this is a punk rock memoir of mistakes and self-discovery. I don't know how punk rock and Asperger's work together, but we'll see. This one I've mentioned before. This one was sent to me by Seal Press. Now, yes, Seal Press also sent me Things No One Will Tell Fat Girls. And this one I've read and I have done a review on. I will link it down below if it is up. If not, it will be up very shortly and whenever it gets up you should go watch it this one is all the things we never knew and this is by sheila hamilton this is a book about mental illness of a gentleman who i believe dies and leaves his family kind of in the wake of a, a trauma where he passed away and they're left with not much and he died because of mental illness and it's going to be really emotional i'm reading it i am i'm not gonna lie i'm very much reading it but I'm going super slow on this one because it's so emotionally draining for me um, and I feel very connected to it and the characters are very much caught my attention and feel very close to me. So I'm taking this one slow. So Seal Press, please know. This is being read. It's being loved, but it's taken time. Next, we have this one. This is Source Landmark. This is The Lie by C.L. Taylor. This is an advanced reader's copy and it is due out in June I'm struggling with this one. I've read probably halfway through um, and I can't, I can't get past the halfway mark. Um, it's good. I just, I don't know. It's not doing what I wanted it to do. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't want to give it a bad review because it was sent to me for review and I feel bad giving bad reviews, but honestly, I may have to DNF this one because it's just not... It's not doing what I want, but I'm going to keep trying to power through because who knows, the ending might completely blow my mind. And if that's the case, fabulous. Maybe there's a point to all this. Last but not least, maps to the other side. This was sent to me by... Microcosm Publishing, and they also sent me the... Um, they also sent me the business success with Asperger's. This, this is the adventures of a bipolar cartographer. So I am super excited about this one. Part mad manifesto, part revolutionary love letter. Yes. Part freight train adventures. I think this will be wonderful. So you guys can see I am definitely good <laughs> on books from publishers. I have also finished... Um, Science for Lost Children, Moragard's Curiosity Cabinet, Curi Curiosity Cabinet um, by H.P. Wood. And I will link H.P. Wood's, um, the review I did for that one down below. Lost Children, I am holding off on the, thank goodness, um, Granta Publishing is going to send me the first one so I can read the first one and then have the second one and do a 
joint review on the two of them. I have a couple other books that I have read and received from publishers that are now within my shelves, um, and they have been reviewed, and I will link down below anything I can find, which I think includes The Vegetarian, Liar, and maybe a couple others. So here's the thing, I am working very hard to get all of these books done for reviewing and publishers. I really want to make them proud, and I really want to do the best that I can for them, but that does mean that I want to give the books the proper time and energy that it needs for me to put into them. I don't want to rush through. So it's taking a little longer in some books than others, um, and some of them I'm trying very hard to not overstimulate myself so that I fall apart, um, which is understandable. And all right, guys, this has been my video talking about publishers, the books that I've received, and the books that will be coming soon to you. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, and I will see you soon. Bye.